Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room and a day number seven of our crafty Christmas. So today's project, we are working on some post-it note holders. <clears throat> These are fashioned towards uh, an easel card. So if you've ever made one, you're going to find this very easy. If you haven't made one, you're going to find it very easy. <laughs> I do have tutorials on how to make an easel card if you are needing that. But most, these post-it notes are going to kind of have to be more geared towards you making your own measurements because I found some very oddly shaped ones and then so there's also some, some square ones and there's, you know, heart shaped ones. So <laughs> it kind of depends on what um, what size you end up getting of post note is going to be what size you need to make your card. And then I also make a little notebook to go along with them. That would be a cute little extra touch. And they're matching themes, you know. <laughs> so the, um, I figured I could give you the measurements. I think what I ended up doing was four and a quarter by eight and a half and then I scored at four and a quarter or four and a four and a half and then six and a quarter if I remember correctly and then I do a square for my panel but you could also you know fit it to the size of your actual card I'll try to remember to leave a link down below of how to um, I think I've got I know I've got an easel card tutorial, so I'll make sure to leave that in the link below. And then you can just learn kind of how it works and then make your measurements based on what kind of post-it note you get. These are also good for anything like maybe a pack of stickers or something you want to put in there because sometimes stickers come in a pad. And then that way they can have it sitting on their desk and it's nice and fun. You could also do just some paper. You don't have to make it a post-it note. Just staple a pack of paper together and then glue it on. Pretty simple, like a post-it note, but stapled. <laughs> if you can't find post-it notes, you know, or if you're, you know, really trying to stretch your budget. So this first one, I did a gem theme. So I started with a purple base and here is my panel. And as you can see, when you score it, you're going to get a little kind of tent looking thing. You're gonna to wanna to place your panel on the bottom part of the tent. And then you want the top half of your panel to be adhesive free. And as you can see, that's going to create yourself a little kind of pop-up tent, <laughs> an easel, <laughs> or, you know, to find another word. So some of them I do put a little strip of paper down on the bottom part of the easel, and then I put the post-it on there, and then that post-it is going to be what stops your easel from popping up, because you want it to just kind of stay where it is and look pretty and not try to fall over or whatever. So that really normally you would put like a a flower or a button or something there so that it would stop your easel from closing so this is the post-it note version of it's gonna actually stop it you don't have to add anything else and then to decorate the panel I just used a little journaling card but it's not a journaling card it's um just a photo but it comes in the pack of journaling cards that you get from like a 12 by 12. And then the little notebook, you can do any size you want. I just cut the um, eight and a half by 11 in half and then folded it and then put some white paper that I cut and folded and then just stapled it. Very simple. <laughs> I think we've made notebooks in the past here, so. And they're very easy to figure out, not very hard at all. And then to top it nicely off and make it all cute, we put it in a little cellophane bag <laughs> and then a, or a clear bag, whichever you want to call it. 
and then just put a little topper of kind of the same theme. And I did a button for this one and a little sentiment. So for this one, I am using an orange base. And I believe I ended up making this one a little bit bigger. I think uh, it's hard to remember. <laughs> but it's basically the same thing. And you can just tweak the measurements however you need it. Just kind of you know, decide what you need to do. You can, you know, kind of just put your post-it note on there, get the measurement of that, and then add a few inches. Well, <laughs> trying to, like, you can do your post-it note, add a few inches, and then double it, and then do that second half. Just put a score line in the middle of that. So let's say you have a 12 inch piece of paper. You're gonna score at six and then probably, what is it, nine? Yeah, so six and then nine. And then you're gonna fold each of your score lines and then that's going to give you your little tent because you have the extra score line in between your 12 and six, so. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense and that'll hopefully, hopefully help you <laughs> with, you know, creating your own based on which post-it notes you end up buying. Because I even played around with the idea of using the really tiny ones, <laughs> like the ones from the stationery kit. I was like, hmm, I wonder, <laughs> but it, it would be such a little tiny easel. <laughs> it would be cute though. <laughs> so this one, I tried to use a lot of vellum to go with this orange because it has orange roses on it. Some red too, but the orange, I really wanted to tie in with it. And then I put a little orange post-it note in there to go along with it. And I like to do some stickers or an image or something on the actual panel of the easel that you know you'll see once you prop it up on the post-it notes because that'll give it a little bit of a decorative feel so you can just set it on your desk and it'll you know be a little cute thing that you can look at and then even when you're like writing on your post-it note nice little cheery touch <laughs> to your day of writing with post-it notes. <laughs> and then I did a vellum book notebook to go along with it. And then for our topper, I did the vellum with a little sticker rose on it. So here is a masculine version. It is some top hats. I did basically the same size <laughs> as the other ones because of, I kind of did the same size. They were a little off. Some of them were a little taller, but they ended up, you know, working with that measurement pretty nicely. And then each time just, you know, stapling my notebook and then putting stickers on it or images. These ones I had some stickers that were pretty masculine that worked out nicely. Here I used a little, I think it was more on the cream than an ivory. And that kind of worked with the vintage -y feel of the paper very nicely. China. <laughs> think of what else to say, but I, I think that's pretty much it. It's a very simple gift, very easy, very cute, and it's very versatile to whoever you're going to give it to. It's, you know, kind of, you know, a blank canvas. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Most of these are. That's the whole point. <laughs> but those are the easel card post-it note holders. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.